Good morning, everyone. My name is Alafia, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of ArishConnect.com. And so today's video is going to be um, interesting because as things have been happening, the state of our humanity, the state of uh, people of color in the United States, uh, things are happening. And I'm getting some, some messages and having conversations with you all. And there's been a recent theme of mental illness and dealing with PTSD in the community. And unfortunately, some folks are seeking out Orisha worship in a way that's not what it's intended. And to explain that further, there's only one thing that I can think of to say, and that is that prayer is not going to solve mental health issues. Uh, you cannot pray mental health away. And as I was having these conversations with folks, I remembered, um, and I don't know if anyone else remembers this person. Uh, his, he's an actor. His name is Lee Thompson Young. He was very famous when I was coming up uh, because he was on uh, the famous Jet Jackson, that TV show, and he was very much my my uh, childhood crutch, crush. And um, when he committed suicide, the media was trying to paint his affiliation with our religion as to the reason or part of the reason why he had um, taken his own life. And it really just, it, it's not new that we're demonized in the media. It's not new that we're demonized in Hollywood. It's not new that people have, that know nothing about our religion are telling our story. This is not new. Um, but what really uh, made me upset is that, you know, we don't, it's not in our belief system to take your life. I mean, the preservation of life and longevity is always the goal. And so when he um, unfortunately ended his life, reading the articles and then, you know, seeing all the, the things that were going on surrounding his death, it really um, hammered it home that we need to not only tell our own stories, but there needs to be a greater conversation around Orisha worship and mental illness. Orisha worship is not going to erase it. There needs to be an entire system of support in place to manage any a mental illness of any kind. And it's I was really upset with one of my favorite humor bloggers. I don't know if some of you um, read her stuff. Her name is Awesome Lee Lovey. And when Lee Thompson Young passed away, uh, she, and it, it, it makes sense because she's not a part of this religion, but the just basic erasure saying that the Yoruba, pe the Yoruba are a people, not a religion. And I thought that that was really like a slap in the face to the fact that there's an entire diaspora of people that are naming this religion after the people that it comes from. And then even in Yoruba land, like the, traditionalism doesn't have very many names. So it makes absolute sense for the people of the diaspora that are practicing this faith to name it after the people that it came from. So it made me take a step back um, as a fan of hers and say, you know, we really are still battling um, other people placing a narrative on this religion. And but that's a whole that's a whole nother thing. So in regards to mental illness, I just want to tell our community that we have to be very mindful. And then for those the, those folks that are seeking out um, spiritualism in this faith, we cannot erase mental illness. That is not how it works. That is not something that can be done by any religion on this planet. It, it, we can't fix it, but it may help in developing um, regular uh, systems um, that you have to pair with, you know, uh, psychological care. That you have to pair with, if for, in some cases, medication. There has to be an entire management system, and it cannot solely rely on religion. We cannot pray mental illness away, just like we cannot pray uh, the homosexuality away. You can't pray the gay away. And what's happening in West Africa right now, I don't know if anyone is uh, following this, but there are prayer camps. And so when mental health hospitals are overcrowded, folks are sent to prayer camps and where it's, you know, very, very poor conditions and under the premise that prayer will fix mental illness and it has never worked. It will never work. And that is not, um, it's not right to, um, 
to put people in these kinds of positions. And then some of you may be wondering why I have such an investment in this, and that's because professionally, not only am I an educator, but I work in a sphere that deals with a full range of, of disabilities, from mental illness to visible disabilities. So these are invisible and visible um, disabilities, and it affects the way that people navigate through life, and there has to be a management system in place. And I want us to realize, and well, many of us do, that religion is not going to erase mental illness. And then I also call for us to pay attention to our own mental illness with the state of things that are going on in our community. So not to take up too much of your time, but you can't pray mental illness away. So I hope that you all are having a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, beautiful people.